Hi everyone, this is a short video to talk you through SWOT analysis and I'm going to do an example here. So I've made this little layout um, just in Word but you could sketch this out on a piece of paper if you wanted and SWOT analysis stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. So they've each got their own box and in the middle here we need to write about what we are analysing. So in my example I'm looking at a student who's going to go on a placement with a makeup company who specialise in doing children's parties. So it would be a kind of a placement where they did a lot of face painting and they used a lot of their creative skills. Obviously your example could be different, it might be to do with a business or another placement you've got, but the principle remains the same. So the first thing we need to think about are your strengths. Um, so we're looking at what skills you already bring to this thing that's in the middle here. So this student is already a creative person because they've studied art at school, which is going to be really helpful for them if they're going to go on this placement. They're also really good at researching looks online, so that is a real strength for them coming up with new face paint designs. And they say that they're a patient person because they've done babysitting in the past, so they're used to children, which obviously is going to be their main clients. And then their last strength that they're putting down in here is that they are a friendly person and approachable. So these don't have to just be technical strengths, it can also be kind of personal things that you think are a good side to your personality. We've written all these as I's because we are doing a personal project, but if this was a business then it would be all about the strengths of the company or the strengths of the team or the project. So focusing over here on the right on weaknesses, we're now thinking about where maybe this person isn't so strong. So they've said that they're just starting out with makeup and that means that they're not really very confident, which that's going to be a little bit difficult in placement for them. And also they've only got a small kit, so not really very many colours, not very many face paints, so that's not going to be great for children to choose from. And their last weakness that they've identified is that they don't have their own car, so they're having to get about the county using a bus. So that's maybe going to be a bit difficult getting to these parties. Um, so once you've got kind of a set of weaknesses and a set of strengths, then that's you kind of done your analysis of yourself. And from here, you would actually go off and make some goals for your placement or your team or your business. Carrying on now, we are moving into the opportunities and the threats. So right now, over at the left hand side, we're thinking about what could go right. What are the positives that could happen? So this person is writing down that the parents and the children might really like their work and that might even lead to them getting a job in the future. So that would be a really positive outcome of this placement. Also, she's putting down that she could get some good photos for the portfolio. So that would be really great evidence as well. And lastly, also that it would build up some of her confidence. So if she had a few good weeks there on placement, she would feel that she could talk to new people and it was a skill that she'd really improved in. So these are the really good sides of what could happen. Whereas over here on the right, the threats are what could go wrong. So here you've kind of got your sort of glass half empty mentality here, thinking about what are the things that could kind of really be a negative for you. So she's writing down here that the parents and staff might not like the looks that she creates. So that could be a real negative if they don't like their face paint designs. She's also identified that the staff themselves might not really trust her and might not want to let her do face painting on her own. So it would mean really that being on placement wouldn't give her any new skills because she might just be standing around. So that would be a real threat. And then the last one here she's identifying is that the children might want to play and they might not want to sit still for the length of time that's really needed to do a good design. So that could really kind of threaten the choice that she could do and what experience she gets. And then last of all, she's identified that she might not be quick enough. So maybe needing to speed up her work is something that's a concern for her.